life-changing question. Pound for pound, Don Davis has thrown a lot of his weight around as a linebacker in the NFL. He's played for four teams, led the Patriots in 2005 with a career-high 25 special teams tackles, and has performed on the NFL's biggest stage three times. Don, over the course of your career, you've played in three Super Bowls, you've won two Super Bowl championships, but how do those victories compare with your relationship with Christ? Now I understand what Jesus meant by it. What is it for a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? That Super Bowl ring is meaningless. It's meaningless. A surprising perspective from a man whose NFL career nearly ended before it began. Don didn't get picked up in the 1995 draft, so he entered the NFL as a free agent. He tried out for two teams, only to get cut by both. So Don worked as a shoe salesman for a year, then was picked up by New Orleans. Along with a spot on the Saints roster came the parties and the women. But Don was married. He was so wrapped up into being a professional football player that he thought he could get away with behavior he knew was wrong. I think I was becoming and learning to become more and more of a hypocrite. I knew how to speak and, and go to the chapel, speak to young kids about not doing drugs and alcohol and these all these kind of things. I knew all of those things to say, and I cleaned up fairly well to where people, some people would have no idea. Don's marriage ended in divorce. His career with the Saints ended too. What? At week 10, I, I'm just all of a sudden, okay, you're, you're, we're, we have to release you. We need, the, we need the roster spot. It was at that point, I remember, I drove back from that day from New Orleans all the way to Kansas, 14 hours crying, what am I going to do with myself? My life is over. That was the lowest point in my life. He got a call from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. After Don signed, head coach Tony Dungy made quite an impact on him, showing Don what it meant to be a Christian. This coach here, he doesn't yell, he doesn't curse, he doesn't drink, he's got a great family. Wow. Coach Dungy's faith continued to inspire him, and about that time, Yannette walked into Don's life. And we met through mutual friends, but the first thing that they said to me was, you know, I don't know if you should really even get involved with him. Let's go, baby! We're going to show, baby! Let's go, baby! I know that that's not what you're looking for, and these were my friends looking out for me. So it was a little scary at first. Yannette was hesitant, but gave Don a chance. At the same time, a talk with a team chaplain brought Don to a realization. I don't know if I'm going to heaven. So he said, would you like to have a, a relationship? Would you like me to introduce to you for the first time Jesus Christ so you can have a real relationship that will radically change your life? Absolutely. And that was the day that I gave my life over. I gave my heart over. Don has never looked back. He and Yannette are married with two daughters. He's also the strength coach and chaplain for the New England Patriots and serves as a pastor at Living Waters Church. And so he says, y'all pray for me as you're praying. Pray for me that I will present the gospel boldly. You also seem to have a real fire inside of you. It's, it's funny because I, 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 I'm, I feel like I am a very passionate person, but I'm especially passionate about the Word and about the Lord because I know what it's like to live in darkness. I know what it's like to try to fill that void. And I know what these athletes are going through. I understand the pressures of the NFL and trying to perform and trying to compete and trying to stay sharp. And I know that uh, uh, the way of trying to do that and trying to keep your foot in the world too. When people say to me, oh, you really tamed the lion. I said, no, I didn't do it. It was all the Lord who did it. And that's what you have to remember. You can't tame the lion, only God can. Super Bowl championships are the pinnacle of success for an NFL player. But Don says his rings matter little compared to what God has in store for him. When we die, if this is it, if this is the best that life and, and eternal life and everything can be is right now, then we're in for a sad existence. But see, this is not it. There is riches, fullness of joy, pleasures forevermore, as the Word of God says, and that's in eternity. We think of our best day, the best day I've ever had in life, pales and not even close to the one day in eternity. Don Davis has got it right. Two Super Bowl rings, it's a big deal. I mean, you're a, you're a top of your game. <clears throat> you're playing for the championship team in the championship game, watched by 
hundreds and hundreds of millions of people.